Hello, welcome back if you've been around for a while or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something that I think is pretty fun and that is stuffing Ani's Easter eggs. If you've been around for a while, you've probably seen in a few of my hauls that I've been gathering goodies, um, little toys and treats for the last couple of months in anticipation of an Easter egg hunt. And yeah, I'm gonna take those things and put them into eggs today. If you've missed the hauls, don't worry, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in the egg, as well as going over the eggs that we have, which are all from the 99 cent only store, and we have had them all for at least two or three years, if not even more than that. Let's jump into it. Okay, so like I said, today I'm gonna to stuff Ani's Easter eggs. I have a bunch of items I can choose from, probably too many, so what I'm gonna do is pick and choose what to put in her Easter eggs and what to put in the treasure chest that we're using as a potty training reward system when we're ready to do that, which isn't quite now. Um, but yeah, I was realizing the other day that I think she's gonna like getting a basket of toys, obviously, but she really likes opening things and seeing what's in them, so I have a feeling she's gonna like the Easter egg hunt even more than her basket, so I might pull a few of the smaller items out of her basket and actually put them in the eggs instead. But at any rate, let me show you the eggs that we have. First up are these gem eggs. I have nine of the big ones in this size and a package of six smaller ones that we've never actually opened. Um, I think I might open these this year and use them, but at any rate, these are probably my personal favorite, mostly because they're huge. So in the past, when we were doing stuff like lottery tickets, it was just easier to get them in here without having to bend them up real small. Um, and they're obviously great for Ani because smaller toys and figurines, which we know she loves, fit in these perfectly. Speaking of Ani. So she's actually right here next to me playing with all the leftover eggs from our adult Easter egg hunt in the past. I don't plan on using those for her Easter egg hunt, um, but obviously if I need to, they're there. Hey, do you want help, please? Sure. All right, so now that you've seen her, next up are these polka dot ones. I have six of them. They're also a pretty good size. Um, their quality is a little more flimsy. You can kind of see, hang on. Um, you can kind of see they're very easy to bend. And that's what I really like about these gem ones as well, I forgot. They don't give, they're pretty rigid and sturdy. Next up, we have these three cute little bunny ones. Um, they're also a pretty good size and pretty sturdy. They've held up pretty well over the years. So those are cute. Similar to the bunnies are the little chickies that we've had for a while. Again, they're also very cute. These are a little different in that they open along the length rather than around the um, width. I don't know if that's the right word, but at any rate, um, yeah, these have held up great over time as well. And then last up, I have two carrots. They came in a pack of three. Unfortunately, one finally met its demise last year. Um, I think it got dropped and it cracked and broke, so we're down to two, which is fine. I could have bought more eggs this year, but as you probably can tell, I have plenty. Between these that we're gonna use with Ani and the extras that I don't plan on using, we're fine for Easter eggs. And if I'm being completely honest, I have a feeling there are still some under the couch from last year. And then last but not least, a concept I wasn't really familiar with until I moved here was the whole silver and gold Easter egg, the like second place and first place. Again, when we did the adult Easter eggs, these usually held money, lottery tickets, and candy because they're supposed to be like the best eggs. I don't know that I'll use them for Ani this year, but I have them out just in case I want to. Okay, so you've seen the eggs we have. Let's get into packing these eggs with goodies and treats. So first up, I have these little eraser sets that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a pack of 12, but there are six pairs, so like the tractor, and I'm gonna put a pair of each in the little eggs. Um, I think Ani will really like these erasers, not necessarily as toys, but I can see us using them as little like memory games or even just working on matching. She's really liked matching recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the egg, all of the erasers in the mini eggs. All right, I got them all. They are in the eggs. I'm gonna put them in this bucket. Um, again, theme of this, this is the bucket we used to use when we had our friends over and we did the adult Easter egg hunt. Um, so I'm just gonna store her eggs that she'll be finding in the backyard in here. I should note, we're not putting anything edible in the eggs. We have done it in the past, but given she's a toddler and I'm not real sure how long it's gonna take her to find the eggs, if she'll be interested in finding them, 
I don't want to put anything edible in them. Um, so she is getting some chocolate and some jelly beans in her basket. They're not going to go in the eggs because of that. Also, it's Texas. Who knows how hot it'll be on Easter? Don't want to risk anything melting. Okay, so next up we have the garbage truck, the airplane, and the donut Hot Wheels. I think I'm going to put one of these in the toilet training chest and the other two in Easter eggs. Um, I think since there's two, I'm going to do two. I'm going to put them in the carrots and I'm just going to decide by what fits. I have a feeling this airplane's going to be too big. Yeah, it is. The wings don't fit. So let's try the garbage truck. Perfect. And the donut car. Perfect. So there we go. So for now, the airplane is going in the treasure chest. Also, I know that this looks like a lot of stuff. Um, we're going a little bit over the top this year. Not over the top, but a little more than we'd probably spend in typical years because yet again, it's a holiday, a celebration where it's not going to be anybody but the three of us. Um, hopefully soon we'll feel safe enough with COVID dying down and vaccines and all of that to rejoin our family and our family and our friends, but we're not. So we're just trying to make it kind of special and a little bit extra for Ani. So the next up are these Dollar Tree items, um, the little Disney figurines. We have Tigger, Minnie, Mickey, and Dumbo. Um, I don't want to do all of them. Since she already has a Mickey and a Minnie in her little figurine collection, I'm going to put these, the Mickey and Minnie pair, into the treasure chest for later. She likes having duplicates of toys, but I think it'll just work better if we get these later and I put these in eggs. All right, let me... Now that I've said that, I need to make sure Dumbo fits in an egg. His trunk is uh, rather extended. She doesn't know who Dumbo is, but she likes elephants, which is why I thought she would like this. Yeah, see, he's not fitting in here. Um, let's see. So I might have to go back on that. I might, yeah. Dumbo's not going to fit in the eggs. So take what I just said, scratch it. Dumbo and Tigger are in the treasure chest. Mickey and Minnie are going into eggs. So I got Minnie. Mickey. And then to finish my bunny eggs, I'm going to do this little Paw Patrol figurine. If, again, if you saw the haul, we got two of these, so I'm going to put one in the treasure chest and one in the Easter eggs. So that's the bunny eggs sorted. I should also note there is a high likelihood that all of the things in the Easter eggs she won't necessarily have immediate access to. I have a feeling that the little car erasers I'm going to put into a busy bag which means she won't have constant access to them. That said, I'll probably let her play with them for a couple days and then I'll put them up. Next up is this little Ugly Dolls figurine that I got. Um, it came with three accessories. I don't know that I'm gonna let her keep the accessories just because they're small and she's randomly back to putting small things in her mouth, but we'll give her a chance with them and we'll see how she does. So there's that egg. Next up are these sea creatures. They were initially gonna be in her basket, but I'm gonna put them in eggs. Um, it's just a whole bunch of random little sea creatures. I'm not going to worry about if there's one or two in eggs. I'm just going to put them in. So if you're curious where they are, these came from Walmart. They were on clearance. Um, they're not the best painted little figurines, but she generally doesn't care about that too much. And for a dollar fifty, they were winners in my book. All right. So these are all little sea creatures. Some of them have two, some of them have one. Last but not least is a set of eight ugly dolls that I bought. That said, I'm in sort of a weird position here where I really want to put some of them in her treasure chest for potty training. Um, and I kind of have a weird amount of eggs left. <laughs> I have all six of these and three of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her three of the ugly dolls in these chick eggs and then the rest I'll put in the treasure chest. So I know she does not have a green one, so we'll give her the green one. This little gray one's pretty cute. Looks like the chicks ate him. And then I don't think she has a blue one yet, so I'm going to give her a blue one. And these are going to join the rest of the Easter eggs. So that leaves a couple of these um, little ugly doll figurines to be put in her treasure chest for potty training. Um, so she's fairly quickly getting a good amount of things in here. Um, I think it'll be a hit when she goes to train. She really likes getting little toys. That leaves us with the silver and the gold egg and these polka dot eggs. 
for a two-year-old this is plenty I'm not worried about not using these um, I might end up doing something kind of cute with these for Laura and I like maybe putting in like a uh, back massage um, choice of dinner just little like not necessarily rewards but you know and then letting her hide three for me and me hide three for her we'll see it kind of depends on how much time I have between now and then but it's just an idea at any rate if nothing else I just won't use them or if Ani really loves the concept of the Easter egg hunt, which I think she might I might just keep some eggs out and we have a built-in activity I did a ton of Easter egg activities with her last year when she was tiny she loved them so honestly I could do it this year too I haven't done too many up to this point but following Easter I might so at any rate, her Easter eggs are stuffed. They are ready for us to hide on Easter morning. Um, hopefully she likes finding them and, you know, seeing what's in them. If we remember and one of us is awake enough, if we do it early, we will record that for you. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't had any ideas for your kids' Easter eggs, maybe this gave you some. Honestly, if she was a little older, I would just put coins in her eggs because she really likes coins. Um, but again, she's kind of young and she's back to putting things in her mouth, so I don't want to mess with that. Um, stickers are another thing I thought about putting in. She has enough of those already, so I didn't do that because, again, I had enough other little items. But those are some other ideas. At any rate, I hope you have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye!